Now we are going to work on the customer list. And to do so, we need to install first a, a component library, which is Angular Material. So Angular Material is a nice library that uh, is built by Angular team. And it features many, many components that help developers to accelerate uh, delivering application with nice components and nice features. So you can check out all these in order to, to use that. Like, so you have all the kind of uh, kind of uh, buttons and menus, lists, inputs, so all, all kind of components that you that helps you to get started with building a web application. So to install Angular Material, all you have to do is click on Get Started, then copy this. Make sure you are in the front end application. Just go to the integrated terminal there and then paste this. You will uh, keep everything by default. You can always choose not to use a material style. Include animation, yes. And that's it. So it will install the Angular material for you. And now you need to restart your uh, front end application so that Angular material will be taken into consideration by the compiler. So you just need to control C there, yes, and then restart your application. To use material components, all you have to do is go to the components section, then choose what, to want, what you want to embed or what you want to include. So for me, I will, I'd like to add some buttons there. So I think it's version 16, the one that I have right now. So I go to the button section and I will choose to take the primary button here. So first you need to install the library or import the library into your component or into your module. So to, to import that, you have to take that import from there and go to your components. Since right now we are working with standalone components, you can import uh, any other library or any other module within the component itself. And you don't need to import it in the model, module. So I'll take that and then put it in the import collection. Now I can introduce or I can include that button example in my uh, listing or list, customer list component. So I'll just take that, then dump it here. I'll remove that. So now I will say create new customer. So now my components is already there and you can see that the button is really nice and it's really out of the box and we also need to install bootstrap within our angular application so that we use we benefit from bootstrap because it's it has many many features so you can always install it and refer to it in the angular js or angular.json file so we're going to do that so we, all you have to do is install or npm install bootstrap That's it, Bootstrap is already installed and you can check it out here. So you can go to node modules and then look for B Bootstrap. So Bootstrap is installed here and we can always um, refer to it in our AngularJS or AngularJSON file so that it will be taken into consideration by the compiler. To do so, we just need to refer to it here and do the build, you can just do that there. So it's going to be um, actually here. Just need to refer to it using node modules slash bootstrap bootstrap slash. Then it's the dist. It's under distribution. this CSS and then we're going to call the main file which is this guy. So it's dist then CSS then you have bootstrap min dot j uh, CSS that's your file and you can always refer the refer to the um, JS file as well, which is actually under distribution, and then it's just a 
besides distribution and then it's under js dist then you will have to refer to the main file there she's bootstrap bundle.js or .main.js so we'll take this and then put it here and instead of dist it will be js actually It's actually this one here or this version because it's the minimum minimized version so it's going to be bootstrap dot min dot js we are done now we, we need to restart our application so that it takes into consideration my new installation it's done so now as you can see, it already changed a little bit the style. So we can introduce containers and we can introduce uh, all features from uh, uh, Bootstrap CSS. So now I would like to put this within a container or I can put the whole body within a container then work on the right rest. So I'll put this into a container. So everything will be uh, encapsulated within that container, so custom management. 